Hello, I bring, um, well, once again, something unusual to the table. Well, this is the the, the back half of the of a Ford EXP interior. Yep. So uh, this is the uh, driver's side of what we see right here. Um, and this specifically is the speaker grill. Um, so with the, the EXPs and L7s, there's a grill like this. It's slotted one direction. And it fits, I believe, a 5x7 oval speaker, something like that. I'll put the actual measurements in the description. But it fits an oval speaker like that. Um, and that's only if you have a stereo EXP. If you have a mono EXP or EXP with a radio delete, these uh, speaker vents will, will not be louvered. They will look exactly like this. But when you turn it to the side here, you won't be able to see the speaker inside. Um, and here you can see the, the cone of the speaker. I know the rest of it's pretty dark, but you can see the cone of the speaker through these slots. Um, if your EXP does not have stereo, these slits or slots will not be in here. It'll still be corrugated like this, but all these slots will be filled in. And on the back side, they look like this. Um, and then on the back side, there won't be these mounting studs to mount a speaker on here. So it's very interesting that Ford did that. Um, and, and these are quite rare. It's, it's pretty rare to have an EXP that has um, uh, the, the mono radio or radio delete completely. Um, but yeah, so I don't even have a mono slash radio delete gr grill insert. I don't have one of those. Those are, those are pretty rare. I've only ever seen uh, two, two or three sets. Um, and only from other owners and uh, eBay auctions. And I'm, I'm not going to buy one simply because I'd rather have a speaker. Um, <laughs> those other ones, are, they're, they're useless unless you're not going to have speakers. Um, but even still, you can just use the ones with the, with the slots in them and you know, no one will ever know unless you get up close and look. But what I have here is a custom part. Well, this is fascinating. So what this is... This is an aluminum plate. I believe it's aluminum. Yes, it has to be. Uh, the speaker is what carries the weight. It's, it's got a pretty good magnet on it. Um, so it's a big, thick aluminum plate. It's about half an inch thick. Crazy, crazy thick. Crazy strong. Um, and it's got holes drilled into it. And they're all countersinked correctly. Much like the EXP ones are, the stock ones. Very fascinating. Um, and when we look on the back side, it is beveled even. See, it's beveled all the way around at the correct angle to match this angle. Because uh, these aren't perfectly straight. Um, and the reason for that is if they were perfectly straight, you'd see gaps around the, uh, the speaker grill panel insert. Um, so they have it all angled, so when you bolt it in, it seals nice and tight, like these guys. You know, yes, you see a little line be between the two pieces of plastic, but it's not a discernible gap. It just looks like it's part of that. And so that, that's what they did here. That's why they beveled it. Well, it's fat, fascinating is that someone went and did this. And we can line it up like such, and look at that. It's a, if I had this mounted in the car, it would be a perfect fit. The plastic would conform to the shape better. Um, but that's really, really good. Um, so, and I do have a pair of these. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I might save them for a personal project or, or I'll sell them. Well, we'll see. <laughs> um, but anyhow, if you guys know anything about these, um, if if they were some sort of Ford dealer thing or some sort of you know magazine catalog order kind of thing, or if this really was just a one-off custom deal, um, let me know. I'd love to find out. But we'll leave it at that, and we'll catch you later.